We're gonna start making the crispy, crunchy topping or the crumble that we're gonna put on top of our power bowl. So like all the flavors and all the ingredients underneath that are sort of smooth and creamy and rich, um, you're gonna get that contrast of texture from the crispiness from the quinoa. So we have some oats, some almonds, some pumpkin seeds, and then some quinoa. This doesn't have to be exact. You know, you just kind of take a handful of each one and mix them together, maybe like a tablespoon or two of agave, just for a little sweetness. Agave is from the agave plant. What's the other thing that you get from agave? Tequila. Yes. You don't get drunk from this, though. A little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is very good for you. I mean, the coconut oil, I mean, it actually tastes like coconut. Though. Sometimes oils have names and it doesn't taste like that. But in fact, the coconut oil, you can actually smell the coconut in there. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of uh, nonstick spray, pour this right on top of our parchment paper. And the parchment paper is actually good to use because it just makes cleanup so much easier and it will make it a lot easier for your crisp to come right off the pan. Quinoa is high in protein, something I use in salads a lot. And I actually, I kind of like the, um, I like the texture of it because it's a, it's a tiny little seed and it's light, but it also has like a little bit of, um, just a little bit of a pop to it, you know, when you're eating it. All right, so 300 degrees for 45 minutes. And it will just get really crispy and crunchy and sort of dry out. And it will just kind of, we'll break a piece off here and there and just kind of crumble it on top of our power bowl. All right, so now we're gonna start with our power bowl. And um, this is one of those things where you, you can actually make this the night before. So we're gonna start with a cup of oats. I actually do it with oatmeal. I buy Irish oats and I soak them the night before, either in milk or in, um, or in some water so that they're nice and soft. And when I wake up in the morning, it doesn't take me a long time to make my oatmeal. We're just gonna pulverize the oats. This way, when they soak, they'll actually they'll get softer. This is gonna be a good thickening agent for the Power Bowl. Let me grab some more ingredients. We have a frozen banana. We have some uh, frozen blueberries as well. This is actually inspired from one of the shakes that I have on my Burger Palace menu. Uh, it's a blueberry and pomegranate shake. Now, listen, you know, there's 11 ounces of ice cream in those shakes, so they're luxurious, but you can't eat that every single day. But this is sort of inspired by those flavors. So now we have half a cup of yogurt, some honey, banana, some blueberries, and you know, this is gonna be really good for you, but at the same time, it's gonna be very flavorful. This is a little bit of pomegranate molasses. If you don't have pomegranate molasses, you can use a little more honey. I usually wake up very early in the morning, anywhere from like literally 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., depending on what my schedule is the next day. And so this is actually something that if you started it the night before, you could just get into your system as soon as you wake up, and that's really the key. Some orange zest, a little bit of lemon zest. A little bit of lemon juice. And then some pomegranate juice as well. Now, if you can't find pomegranate juice, you can use cranberry juice. But since we're doing pomegranates, why not? All right. Let's see what this looks like. All right. And we're gonna let this set overnight so it thickens a little bit. Okay, so. We're gonna take some of our blueberry banana parable mix. See how it's thickened up from the oats, just kind of sitting overnight. Then a few blueberries. And I'm gonna put a little bit of yogurt right on top. And then some pomegranate seeds. It's very beautiful. And I'm gonna take some of our quinoa crumble. Sprinkle it right on top so you get a little crunchiness. 